All right, here we are with the truck at, right there, Paul, you can see it right there, Paul Popples Auto Body Shop. This is Paul. Hi, Paul. How you doing? And Phil. Phil. And we're here to have this painted silver. I'll show it to you in a minute, but the big debate was whether to Linex or not to Linex. And so I'll show you that when I flip the camera around. Um, you know, it, the lighting in the bed of the truck is just so amazing, bouncing off the silver. And when you line exit, that line X just absorbs all of the um, all of the light, and it really changes it. So, uh, future video there. Uh, but for now, I've decided to not line exit. We're just going to have this wing painted, and let me show you what it looks like right up on the cab. Here's a quick detour because I mentioned it. I wanted to show you why I decided not to line exit. I don't use the truck for anything utility. You know, it's a family truck. Um, and this is after I put in the bed mat from Ford, the flip out tailgate extender thing, and the cover. I have videos on all of that. I'll put the links up here as I post them. But look at that, it's like an arena. The LED light bounces off of that silver paint and just lights up the entire truck in there. And if I line next it, I wouldn't have this effect. So that's what made me decide just to wait. I can always do it later if I start to scratch the truck up. Uh, but I think it's going to be fine. And I really like the way that looks. So wanted to just show you that real quick. Okay, this mounts right here with tape and glue. I think it's gonna look amazing. It's uh, kind of Chevy Silverado-ish. Um, they're gonna paint it silver for me. It's primed. I'll give you the part number. It's a Ford original part. It's kind of unusual the way it comes down a little bit below the glass. Um, and then there is some question on what it's gonna look like from the side here, taking up that gap. But I think between the tape and the glue that Ford provides to get this right, I think it's gonna come out really, really good. So I'm gonna hand it over. They're going to uh, prime it again with a silver primer and then uh, spray it uh, and pay special attention to the edges. Uh, they do have to fix this one little spot right there before they, uh, before they paint it, but off it goes. Linex of Cape Coral. Well, I had to be out of town the week that they did the paintwork, and I begged them to do a little video, but they weren't able to. They sent me these couple photos. To be honest, the paintwork came out great. The price was really great, and I'd totally recommend them if you needed some bodywork or line X done in the Cape Coral area. As far as alignment goes, you've got to get it centered right here and right here. These two points you will see from the back. And then you can only go so far up with these satellite things. And then this little groove right here kind of comes right into the roof rail. So that's centered. Let's, let's look and see um, what it looks like from the side. So there is no sticky all the way out there on the edge. So they want that to look like there's a little bit of a space. You know, no different than the space right here. Um, I can't see another example, you know. See the space right here? Black, got a little groove right there. Um, it looks similar to that. Doesn't look, it's uniform. See how it's completely even? So I think I'm happy with that. Time to install it. What you wanna do is uh, just take some masking tape and mark a place on the cab and a place on the wing that are exactly aligned. The directions say to use a grease pencil. The problem with a grease pencil is you can't, if you decide to move the, the line, you, it's not easy. You have to erase it, right? Um, all I did was eyeball it, uh, put a piece of tape right there on the cab. It doesn't matter where, just somewhere close to the middle. 
And then at this point, I would have triple checked to make sure that I was perfectly aligned because you'll see at the end of the video, I am not actually perfectly, perfectly aligned. Now, it didn't, it's not going to matter. It didn't, it, in, the, in, the, in the end, it's not going to matter. However, if you see, that's all I did. I just kind of, you know, I put that line on there and then I was really thinking about the glue. So I didn't triple check. I highly advise you to triple check and make sure around the brake light, that's where it matters, around the brake light, that it is perfectly, perfectly centered. Um, and just take a little extra time there. So during this part here, I went ahead and sped up the video. All I did was run glue around this groove on the inside of the tape. So where that where those two red spray marks are, that's where those two cups were that they, t um, you know, were placed the wing while they painted it. Uh, you'll see here in a minute all that comes off. It's the backing to the double stick tape. And you know when you glue things, you have you can wiggle them around and get them perfect. Well, not with this. Once you stick this thing in place, you cannot move it. So that's why you want to triple check and make sure that that line is in exactly the right spot where you put the tape. So if you see here, all you do is put the glue all the way around the edge. Now they send a glue with it. I recommend using that glue. Uh, I bought this wing so far in advance of getting the truck. If you want to hear my experience of getting the truck, here's the link to that video. Uh, but I bought this wing so far in advance that I lost, I think I accidentally threw away the tube of glue that they sent. So I use black 5200. It's fine. It's a little bit more aggressive than the glue that they sent, uh, but it'll be, it, you know, it worked fine. I have experience with this type of glue and I knew that it would be fine. Uh, so anyway, once you have it all glued up, remember you get one shot to press this thing into position. It's totally fine to do it by yourself. Uh, you don't really need to worry too much about the up and down. Just center it with that tape. That's what's super important. And make sure that you're far enough up that you're exactly centered, or, or not centered, you're equidistant away from those two satellite things. That's really all you're looking at. That's all you care about. The blue tape and the two satellite things. As long as that's completely symmetrical, your end result will be fine. And if you just kind of tap it, uh, you, you, do, you have one chance to pull it off and put it back on. Um, but I have experience with this stuff. I've, I've done, you know, I've glued panels on cars before. And uh, if you just focus on those points, you'll be fine. And then that 3M is uh, pressure sensitive, so you press it on and you're done. The glue, will ooze within the wing. It won't ooze out past the double stick tape. So you're totally fine. As long as you have about a quarter inch bead, you're totally fine to press it as hard as you want. You are not going to squirt any glue out. Here I uh, just pressing down a few spots around the uh, glass and it is instantly bonded. I wouldn't get it wet for 24 hours, but you're not going to get it off. You're going to break it at this point if you need to take it off and move it. Also, around those two edges, you'll see here in a minute, it's not exactly perfect, but you just have to live with it. Uh, there's slightly different gap on either side of the cab. But overall, looks great, came out great, and here I'll show you what it looks like. I can tell you it's not 100% uh, built symmetrically. Um, it does hang off slightly more on this side. Not that you can see it, but if you line it up on top, it's the same in each corner, perfectly the same. And it is perfectly the same around the tail light. But it's like from here to here is actually shorter than from here to here by a few mils. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but came out good. I like it. Adds a little, little flair. And uh, I'm glad I did it. 
the color is fantastic. You know, different angles because of the shadowing, it looks slightly darker, but no different than the way, uh, let's see, the way this looks right here. So that little area there, because of the way the light hits it, looks the same. So I'm happy uh, that 3M product is a total mess. So I'm really thrilled that I didn't get it everywhere, including all over my skin. Here's what I mean. So hangs over this much on this side, hangs over this much on this side, even though it's exactly the same here, right there to the point, exactly the same right there to the point. The space here is the same as the space here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's the same. I froze this for you because I was looking in the screen when I was talking, and you can obviously see it is not the same. So that's why I kept saying earlier, triple check to make sure that your tape line is exactly where you want it. Step back, look at it. I didn't do that, and I wish I did. Now, I was able to loosen up the brake light and scoot it over a little bit to the left, so it looks fine now, and this wouldn't have mattered around the edges because the thing is not built perfectly, but if I just did that extra step, I would have not had this problem right here. It does hang down over the glass, which is kind of unusual, I think, but um, it's on there, it's not going anywhere and I'm really happy with the, the way it looks. So, all right, that's it for this Raptor mod. Thanks for watching, as always. Please subscribe, I've got a bunch of stuff planned for this truck.